Hello dear students, welcome back to the class. So today's topic of discussion is pineal gland and thymus gland. So here you can see the location of pineal gland and this is the thymus gland location. So quickly let's see the location, function and the hyposecretion and hypersecretion of pineal gland. Pineal gland is located between the cerebral hemispheres and attached to the third ventricle. It is located in the center of the brain. The main functions of the pineal gland is secretion of hormone melatonin, regulation of endocrine function, conversion of nervous system signals to endocrine signals, causes sleepiness, influences sexual development, influences immune system function and antioxidant activity. Now in this below diagram, I have shown that how the pineal gland looks from outside. Next is pineal gland and melatonin. You all know that melatonin is produced within the pineal gland and synthesized from the neurotransmitter serotonin. It is secreted into the cerebrospinal fluid of the third ventricle and is directed from there into the blood. So this way how the melatonin reaches the blood is explained. Melatonin production is very much important and vital to the regulation of sleep-wake cycle and its production is determined by the light and dark detection. Melatonin has been used in the treatment of sleep-related disorders including jet lag and sleep-work sleep disorder. So now students, what is jet lag? When you travel from one country to another country, there is a difference in their time, time zone differences. So when you shift from one time zone to another time zone, there is a disturbance of your sleep that is a sleep-wake cycle and then you suffer the disease jet lag. And shift work sleep disorder. This is a disorder you often face during working in the IT sectors or corporate sectors as night shifts because you all know that during the night all the hormones are rejuvenating and recollecting all their bodily functions and regulating our bodily functions. So at that time if you do not sleep or do not have a good sleep then what happens there is a disbalance or imbalance of the hormone secretion and their functioning. So such things are also being regulated by the hormone melatonin. Now, the melatonin plays a very important role in the development of reproductive system structures as well. It inhibits the release of certain reproductive hormones from the pituitary gland that affect the male and female reproductive hormones. Now, melatonin therefore regulates the sexual development in animals. Melatonin plays a role in regulating the mating seasons. Next is the pineal gland dysfunction. So in this dysfunction, we are going to see what happens on the hypo and the hyper secretion of this pineal gland. So here you can see that if the pineal gland is not able to produce sufficient amount of melatonin, a person could experience insomnia, anxiety, low thyroid hormone production or hypothyroidism, menopause symptoms or intestinal hyperactivity. If the pineal gland produces too much of melatonin, a person could experience low blood pressure, abnormal function of the adrenal and thyroid glands or seasonal affective disorder. Now, dear students, this seasonal affective disorder is a new terminology for all of you. It is a depressive disorder that is mainly caused in individuals who experiences that during the winter months when sunlight is minimal. This is occurring to those people. And this is known as a seasonal affective disorder. So, the hypo and the hyper secretion of this pineal gland is illustrated. Below this, you can see the diagram of a pineal gland. With the help of this diagram, you can also explain the pineal gland structure and its secretion, both hypo and hyper. So, you can use this diagram as well. Next is the thymus gland. 
The thymus gland is a lymphoid gland which is comprised of two identically sized lobes which are located behind the sternum that is a breastbone but in front of the heart. So, this is the thymus gland. So, this is a 3D picture but if you see it in a proper animated or in a video form you can understand its actual location. The maturation of T cells is guided by thymoportin and thymosine and other hormones that are created in the thymus. So, thymoportin, thymosine and the other hormones are created in the thymus. In the center of the thymus, the T cells compete or complete their process of maturing and are then released into the bloodstream. Functions, the thymus produces progenitor cells which mature into T cells or the thymus derived cells. The body uses these T cells to help to destroy the infected or cancerous cells. The T cells created by the thymus also help other organs in the immune system to grow properly. Shape and size, the thymus is located just below the breastbone. It is relatively large in infants and grows until puberty in adult. It starts to slowly shrink and become replaced by fat according to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke. So, it weighs about near about 5 grams in elderly adults. Diseases and conditions, the most common thymus diseases is myasthenia gravis. Pure red cell aplasia, that is PRCA, and hypogamma globulinemia. Hypogamma globulinemia. The spelling you have to write it correctly. Myasthenia gravis occurs when the thymus is abnormally large and produces antibodies that block or destroy the muscle receptor sites. And this causes the muscles to become weak and easily tired. So, with the help of this presentation, dear students, I have illustrated two glands, that is pineal gland and thymus gland, with their structure, function, location, shape and size, and hypo and hyper secretions, that is the disorders. Hope this presentation will help you all in doing your assignments and for any queries, please feel free to ask. Thank you once again for listening to it patiently.